Hello friends. Today in this session we will be doing some simple problems on KCL so that we will get familiarized on how to apply KCL on nodes. Okay. So let us take the first problem. In this problem it is a straightforward problem. You have to find IX where the current which is given to be 4 amperes entering and 1 ampere is leaving. Let us select the node. I would like to select this node because here we are having a junction in which all three currents are given. Other nodes are one node is here and another node is here. So you are having actually three nodes in this circuit. Alright. Now let us do this problem. I would like to select this node. So let me call it node number one. Applying KCL at node number one. At one, what will I get? So I am having four amperes which is entering the node. So I put a minus sign in front of that. And I am having IX which is leaving the node plus IX and 1 ampere it's also leaving the node so equal to 0. So IX will be equal to 3 ampere. A straightforward question, a simple question. Now let us go for the next question here. So you are having uh, one node here. So this node and this node everything is the same. So let us take the total current KCL at 1. Let us take it like this. Yeah. So 5 amperes is entering here, so minus 5, 1 ampere is leaving, 1 ampere is leaving and Ix is entering. So I have to put a minus sign here. So equal to 0, so you get minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 minus Ix equal to 0. Therefore, Ix will be equal to minus 3 amperes. Alright. So actually the Ix direction should have been down, but because they have given you the direction, of Ix to be entering the node, Ix will be equal to minus 3 amperes. Please don't go around correcting the direction of Ix which is already given in the question. In this question also, you have to find what is the value of Ix. Clearly, you are having multiple nodes here, but if you apply a KCL here, it won't help because you don't know the values of other currents. So, you are having another node here, alright. But just looking at this problem, you can see that this circuit is not complete, alright. So here you are having an open circuit and I have already and I have told you that an open circuit means an infinite resistance. So an infinite resistance means so I is equal to V divided by R and if R tends to infinity I tends to 0. Therefore because Ix is going defined to be going to an open circuit Ix will be equal to 0. You have to just use a little bit of common sense to solve this circuit. Let us go to the next problem. Yeah. The next problem, you are having a pentagon and this is the node which we are going to consider. So first question here, so let me mark 1 and 2. Alright, let me call this node as A, node A. Right, you have to find, first question is find Ix when Iy is 2 amperes and Iz is equal to 0 amperes. Let us write the KCL at, KCL at A. Okay, now let us go one by one. Ix, this current here, Ix is leaving the node. So plus, you have a positive sign. Iy and Iz are entering. So minus i, minus Iz. 3 amperes is leaving. So you get plus. And 5 amperes is entering. You get minus. So minus 5 equal to 0. So what do you get? Ix, this minus 2. And minus 0. Plus 3, minus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, you get Ix to be equal to. 5 minus 3 plus 2 and therefore Ix will be equal to 4 amperes. Alright. Let us take the second part of the question. It is given that find Iy. Find Iy when Ix is 2 amperes and Iz is equal to 2 amperes. You don't have to write the KVA, KCL again here because I have already written it. So let us directly substitute the value. Here. So Ix is given to be 2 amperes minus, you have to find Iy right, so you can substitute for Iz, so minus Iy minus, Iz is given to be 2 Iy, 2 Iy and uh, again here plus 3 minus 5, so you get minus 3 Iy, this is equal to 0 here, yeah. so you get uh, 5, 5 minus 5 equal to 0 and this will be equal to 0, therefore Iy is equal to 0 amperes. Okay. Now, this is all interesting question. The third question here. Now, 
they have asked to fight ix and iv before this let us just see the what all nodes we are having so this is a node node number 1 this is a node node number 2 and this is also a node and this is node number 3 okay so by intuition uh, like by seeing the problems which we have gone till now there is a natural idea to go to this node right okay. at node 2 if you apply kcl in node 2 what will you get 1 plus 5 uh, sorry sorry uh, there is a mistake here yeah so yeah 1 is entering so minus 1 5 is entering minus 5 and ix is leaving and iy is leaving so both have positive signs equal to 0 now you can clearly see that you are having one equation and two unknowns so it is not possible to solve but look at the other nodes here yeah look at the other nodes let us apply kcl at node 1 kcl at node 1 let us apply kcl at node 1 let us see what we get so ix is entering the node right so minus ix i will put and one ampere is leaving the node so plus one equal to zero so ix is equal to one ampere and let us apply kcl at node 2 kcl at node not 2 node 3 because in 2 already we have applied and we have not got any result. So here at node 3, iy is entering the node. So minus iy and plus 5 is leaving the node. See plus 5 is leaving the node, right? The current is in this direction. It might have been in this direction. So it is leaving the node. It is equal to 0. And iy is equal to 5 ampere. Even if you don't apply this case here, you can clearly see that this iy is the same current which is going like this and it is coming like this so iy and 1 amperes are the same current similarly if you see here sorry ix ix i mean to say ix here here if you see iy iy is going through this path and it is the same iy which is flowing here so that is 5 amperes so just by looking itself you can find ix and iy but in case you want to use case here you can very well do and you can get the same result. I hope these problems also have helped you. In the next uh, uh, lecture session, we will be doing a little bit uh, more uh, difficult problem which is involving some maybe dependent sources and all this thing. With that, we will conclude KCL and I will be starting with Kirchhoff's voltage law after the next lecture. I thank everyone for listening so patiently. I would appreciate that if you like, share and subscribe uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.